dual density back in the mix, all right? Oh, what was the last? I think it was Hoka. Actually, it was probably the Mafate Speed 4. There it is. How is everybody doing? What a day. Super Blast in for testing. Testing is actually done. Uh, got it to 50. <laughs> Mileage is going up in the training calendar, so it's very easy to get a shoot of 50 miles these days. And yes, dual density midsole foam for this behemoth. Maximalist? Or is it Maximalist Plus? All right, I did put the SC Trainer into the Maximalist Plus, which, by the way, is now published on the website with a write-up, okay? Over there on DemoreGlobalRunning.com in case you want to check it out. But I will say, actually, I'm not going to waste the time. I waited a second ago. Eight ounces, 9.4, 9.5, rough, about an ounce and a half heavier for the New Balance SC Trainer compared to the Super Blast. All right, here we go. Let's dive in. 45.5, 37.5, it's a lot, a lot, a lot of midsole foam under step. A neutral road shoe, but I can even, I don't even have to do the twist test. I just know by how it felt under step, it's barely twisting. It's hard to even get my hand around it. Like it's, it's not twisting very much at all, all right? Engineered mesh, Mwah. love it, love the tongue. Is it, uh, yes, semi-gusset on the tongue, okay? Love the tongue. Uh, heel counter, heel tab, collar, awesome. Not plush, but awesome. Pull tab. You know, some pull tabs are, you can't even get your finger in the in the pull tab because it's like such a small little loop. You can actually get your finger in there real easily, and I like that. It's just nice in the wintertime when your fingers are freezing, you know, getting the shoe on or off. Anyway, I like a good pull tab, and you can actually use this one. There's my scores for the upper. Really no complaints. I kind of wish it was summertime. Because I foresee this shoe, uh, the, the, the breathability being perfect for the summertime. Actually, I felt the, the cool air on my toes a little bit. So wear some thicker socks if you're in those freezing, freezing temperatures, which many of us are experiencing right now in North America. All right, there you go. Midsole, uh, we got our Flight Foam Blast Plus on the bottom, okay? And then our Flight Foam Blast Turbo on top, which is the same midsole foam used in the Flight Foam series. Does that make sense? It's a lot of Flight Foam going on in this midsole testing. It was very perplexing, very strange. Felt amazing at 8.30 to 9 minutes a mile. Awesome. But actually, my left foot kind of cramped up when I started to pick up the paces to like 7.30 a mile, 7 minutes a mile. And I had to change my foot strike in the testing for the shoe to heel striking. It felt awesome. So who's the shoe best for? If you are a classic heel striker, I'd get this shoe, all right? If you know, like, I love Flight Foam Blast midsole foam, and I like a lot of them. This is the opposite of ground contact feel. So, but forefoot striking, I just was like, it just was strange. It was a very, very strange ride. So that's how I'd use the shoe. Heel, heel, heel striking. Easy, easy, easy days. I know some people are using it for long runs. I know, I don't know. I've heard some reports. Some people use it for tempos. I think it's way too much midsole foam under step for tempos. But at the end of the day, for me, it would be not a tweener. It would just be a classic easy day. I wouldn't even, frankly, reach for it on a daily training type of day. All right, there's my scores for the midsole. Um, I'm pleased, and the durometer was a little perplexing as well. Let's do the thumb test. Yeah, it's not as soft as you might expect for that type. It's just not as soft as I was kind of hoping. Now, here's the deal. Oh, yeah. I tested it at 45 degrees Fahrenheit, and I tested it at 15 degrees Fahrenheit. 45 felt much better. So I foresee, again, like in the cold, cold temperatures, I just didn't love the ride. So it was like low to mid 40s on the durometer, all right? Ah, it just kind of, it hardened up on me when I was below 20 degrees Fahrenheit, all right? Oh, it was so close to a really, really fun ride, but I just want to, I just wanted you to have all the information as far as how I tested this Shoe, outsole, Ahar Plus, love it, just brilliant, not too much, and I am, you know, I'm a little, I'm curious as to what they're thinking for the decoupled groove compared to the Nova Blast lineup now to the Super Blast, anyway, but I do like the outsole there. Fit, comfort, uh, I, it should be more comfortable in my mind, and maybe after, let's say, 100 miles, this midsole will loosen up a little bit, or... In the summertime, when temperatures are 80, 90 degrees, I bet this midsole is going to be much, much softer under step. But hey, we're testing it in the winter, so there you go. There's the comfort score and that durability. Soak it in, all right? I think it's going to go the distance. Oh, what are we doing? What are we? Oh, I don't know. 
How can we justify $220 for the price point? I don't know how we could just, like, that's a doozy right there. I think what they're thinking is like dual density, uh, dual density is just a lot. And it's especially a lot if you're not gonna use it for a tweener shoe. Now again, I think a lot of people would use it for a long run. It's just a little too much for me for 20 miles, 22, 24 miles. Uh, but at the end of the day, for an easy day, Oh, they, I don't know what to tell you. It's just, a, that's a lot. I have other shoes to buy. Speaking of, there you have it. Soak it in one more time. And those shoe quick specs on your screen right now. There you have it. All right. Full review score, 6.9 out of 10. Not quite in the sevens. It's actually, I think, a little bit even lower than the Nova Blast. And the Nova Blast dipped from the Nova Blast 2. So I don't know, I don't know. It's I, uh, I think the biggest, obviously, issue was the price point. But beyond that, um, we shall see. Actually, yeah, of course, always send me photos, always send me reports, info. And we will get this shoe up on the website very, very soon. To moreglobalrunning.com. All right, here we go on to the comment of the day. This is a great comment about pricing and shoes and Piano Man. Thank you so much. Hit pause if you want to read that entire comment of the day. Question of the day, what do you think your future self will, <laughs> all right, what do you think your future self will remember about your year of 2022? What do you think your future self will remember about your year of 2022? Oh man, well, oh, a million things. Good, you know, mountaintops and valleys, all right? Isn't that what life is all about? Onward we go, we'll toss it to the Nova Blast 3, all right, full review. Nova Blast 3, there you have it. Oh my goodness, what a world, Asics. You are you are pulling out the stops. All right, right there, right there, right there. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.